let me let me switch over to asset allocation for a minute, which is the second thing that are it's on our people's minds. Uh, let me first focus on hard assets such as real estate and gold. Do you have any part of your portfolio in gold? No, but I think it's probably a good investment as the world crumbles and as this country is so badly. As uh, pardon me, sir, did you say as the world crumbles? The more <laughs> as more the world the crumbles. Uh, I'm I'm not into the world of gold, but it certainly is something that I wouldn't talk people out of if they wanted to invest. Mm -hmm. Other than your holdings in real estate, are you much of an investor in the stock market? Uh, I have not been, and that's both good and bad. I mean, it was bad uh, over the last short time, but it's good in that I didn't go through the uh, trials and tribulations with many of my friends from three years ago. Uh, no, I'm not a big stock yeah, you know, because it's a gamble. It's like who knows what's going to happen with the stock market. And, uh, you know, I view that as a very big gamble. I think it's fine. I think some people love it and they do it and they're fine. But uh, I have not been. I've, I've primarily been involved in cash and in real estate. It's interesting you would say that because so am I. Good. I hope we're right. Uh, Thank you I hope we're right, too. Let me ask you an economics question. You know, inflation can be a friend of hard assets and an enemy of cash and long-term bonds. Uh, the government deficit spending is leading the country to a 10 to $15 trillion debt, what with QE2 and other stimulations. After a short while, do you think we're in for a big dose of hyperinflation? I think we're probably in for uh, inflation. I think that you know, it's very sad that China is uh, eating our lunch as a country because of our leadership, not because of the fact that they're better than us, because we're better than they are. Uh, but China is has been taking advantage of this country terribly. Uh, they're making all of our products, and they're rebuilding themselves because of us. And something has to be done with it. And it looks like nothing will be done, because they just seem to go on and have a free, free way with us. Um, and I think that's, to me, the biggest concern. What, what's going on with China? What's going on with OPEC? With the oil today hit $90 a barrel. And, you know, this country can't do well if oil is going to be, if the blood is going to be too expensive. And it's too expensive. And um, if something's not going to happen with China and others, if something's not going to happen with OPEC, uh, we will not have the country that we used to think we would have. It's a sad commentary, isn't it, sir? Yeah, pathetic, actually. Uh, Mr. Trump, I can't stop thinking about $15 trillion in debt. I mean, what are we going to do about this? Well, there are numerous things you can do. For one thing, you can get the economy going. For another thing, you can bring jobs back to the United States, which have not been, you know, that's not being done. Uh, our jobs are going to China. They're going to Mexico. They're going to India. And you can't run a company this way, and you can't run a country this way. What do you think about that question, Alan? What are we going to do? Well, I, I, I don't know the answer. None the of dollar, us do. Like some Pardon people me? are saying they're going to do? Well, devalue the dollar through we're hyperinflation, sure. That, right? Sure, that's what I'm worried about. Mm -hmm. But but on the other hand, for those of us who have real estate, I suppose we'll benefit, and then they'll tell us it's our fault. That's right. Uh, well, from a real estate standpoint, that's a great thing. From a owning, ha having cash standpoint, it's not very good. Right. The sad part is it penalizes the people that did a good job. It penalizes right. people that were able to, you know, build up cash and, you know, it's pretty tough stuff. i got to ask you one question. Uh, when I Google you, up comes a website that says Donald Trump for president. Now, I'm not going <laughs> to ask you the big question. I'm not going to ask you the question. But i got a little question. When do you think somebody with leadership qualities like yourself should step up to the plate? Well, if we don't have it soon, this country will never be great as we knew it in the past. Uh, somebody has to come in and clean house. Somebody has to come in and negotiate with people that are taking advantage of us. Look at South Korea. Look what happened recently. 
They wouldn't sign a trade pact that only a moron would sign from our standpoint, and it still wasn't good enough for him. And Obama goes there. They don't sign it. He's embarrassed. Then they get some bombs lobbed in, and all of a sudden, we love the Americans. They are our great allies. We will sign trade pact, right? That's we right. Are, we are so stupidly led, and it's unless somebody's going to step up to the plate, and why are we defending South Korea? Why aren't they paying? They're a very wealthy country. Why aren't they paying us to defend them? Why do we have our aircraft carriers over there, and they don't give us 10 cents? Why aren't they paying us for defense? Uh, it is absolutely the way this country is being run is an outrage. So anyway, with that, I have to go, Alan. I'm sure you agree with me 100%. You sound like I, I do, but I think we got to get an east-west axis an on this. It's an outrage what's going on. Thank you very much, Alan. It was my pleasure, sir.